Hello, I'm Tor Plashko from MCAT and today we will continue our lesson of designing a gear reducer part 3. Uh, we're, today we will finish the ribs, uh, the four ribs and uh, uh, <coughs> of course I will use again the DWG we had. I will uh, take um, many uh, dimensions from it. As you know, uh, the DWG drawing is not very precise, so uh, some of the dimensions uh, I have to uh, think it by myself. But uh, if uh, your uh, DWG is correct, uh, you can always uh, copy-paste every geometry in it. Okay, I will start with the first rib. I will some uh, dimensions, right? Some uh, angles. I think uh, here is 60 or 120. Okay. I will uh, <clears throat> use this uh, plane for my 2D sketch. As you see, when you make a 2D sketch, uh, there are some reference geometry that are, that are uh, projected. Always uh, project uh, geometries for reference, because uh, that means that your uh, geometry will be correctly positioned. And of course you can uh, put some dim dimensions from uh, these projected, uh, projected uh, geometries. I will make a geometry that looks like like uh, the one that's in, in the DWG and then I will put uh, dimensions of course as you know in uh, Inventor 2013 and 14 also you can always uh, create geometries and after that uh, and, and uh, put in dimensions according you see there's a trick when you want to, to make an aligned dimension you must uh, uh, Put your cursor uh, near the aligned line, and uh, there is a specific symbol which will appear. And that means you then click with the normal uh, left button of the mouse, and you create a line dimension. Uh, of course, I don't need uh, such a dimension here, but uh, that's a uh, useful trick. All right, uh, 150 degrees here and uh, 55 millimeters. All right. If I'm uh, doing this uh, too quick, you can always pause, pause, and uh, uh, not 155, 55. You can always pause and uh, do it uh, in in uh, by you. 150 degrees was uh, that angular, all right. Uh, of course, I will not uh, create the same thing. I just uh, I will make a uh, line, a construction line, and I will use the mirror command. I will create it with the construction line, so Inventor doesn't count it as a contour. Alright, first select what to uh, will be mirrored, then uh, right click continue, uh, then I select the mirror line, and uh, again right click continue or enter. Okay, I, I will tell you something. Sometimes Inventor, when there are many uh, projected geometries, doesn't think that uh, the contour is closed. If in fact it's closed, as you see, but sometimes you have to recreate some of the geometries, uh, like this one, this line here. Of course, many many times that's not necessary, but uh, uh, I'm just to warn you if. Um, Sometimes uh, inventor told you that the contour is not closed. That means uh, he doesn't count this reference geometry as a, a contour closer. Sometimes it happens. Uh, you can create this uh, arc, of course. It's easier to create. Uh, or you can, um, as you know, there is an option when you click on the projected geometry, you can always click the option break link and uh, the geometry is uh, 
uh, right it it's not projected anymore and you can uh, trim it uh, move it and everything with what you can do with the normal uh, geometry all right i will extrude uh, this contour and i will say to next uh, that means i will extrude to the next solid if there are more than one solid you have to select the solid which uh, the extrusion will be all right the, the second rib uh, it's similar uh, to the first one of course there are some uh, uh, some dimension which are different uh, no no let's use uh, I think we can use the other uh, dimension I think the dimension the between the distance between uh, the two uh, sh shafts are yes 154 so I will use this dimension uh, this one 23 let's say uh, another dimension fourteen point three so in the base is pretty the same here one hundred and twenty all right so I will we'll create another two D sketch I will and I will create this first I will create a line a construction line that I will use for a reference of course uh, always uh, always create uh, this kind of uh, construction lines it helps you to uh, make uh, dimensions easier and of course select it to be construct construction line so as I told you before inventor doesn't count it as a, a contour it doesn't close contour contours all right, this diameter was 154, and now we'll create the other uh, part. The construction option is, is off, so I will not create uh, such a geometry. Of course, you can use uh, reference from the other geometries. If you are pressing the control button, you can... Um, uh, you of course you can uh, turn it off uh, temporary. <clears throat> yes, this was 23. All right, let's move on to the next dimensions. Many dimensions. 65. Point, uh, 62.5. This one maybe how much? 150 maybe again. Let Let's see. Yeah. All right. So the geometry. Uh, one on 65 65 point uh, 62.5 all right and the angular was as you see in inventor i need one command for all the dimension in autocad i need it uh, for every type of dimension i need uh, to uh, use a different command so inventor is faster in that in that uh, in that thing i will again use the mirror command I'll use uh, the mirror line I created, and that's uh, and that's uh, my uh, ribbon, uh, my rib. I can close it just to be sure. It's nothing, as you see, it cost me one, two, three seconds, so it's not a big deal. But sometimes, as I told you, uh, it's easier that way. Again, to next, if there is another solid, I should choose with to which solid, and there are the ribs. Of course, I can now mirror them, but I will not hurry. To, I'm not in a hurry to do that because there is an, uh, there are some uh, nests here, nests to nests for the bearings that we will create in uh, uh, the next lessons. All right, uh, let me see. Yes, here, that's the first nest and the other one. I will create them, create them both. I hope that uh, the some of many of the dimensions will be correct, will be precise. We will see that. All right. Uh, so let's start uh, gathering uh, dimensions. Uh, let's say this is 90, because uh, as I told you, there will be some bearings in it, and if I choose it 91.15, there will be not no such a 
from bearing, of course. Yeah. And uh, height is 10, okay. Nine height and 90 and 10. So I uh, will again create a uh, 2D sketch. You can also always use uh, um, fewer uh, sketches, but uh, then you don't have such a control. I like to use uh, many sketches. Uh, okay, that's 90, that's uh, 72, alright. Uh, 72 diameter was uh, was placed on the on the drawing, so I I don't uh, dimension it. All right, that was what I need. Now I'll extrude this with the 10 millimeters height. All right, I see 10 millimeters. Uh, and uh, all right, the distance is correct. And uh, I'll use the same sketch to cut uh, my uh, wall, the wall of uh, this. Uh, I open the extrusion, right click on the sketch, and uh, choose the option Share Sketch. So I can use this sketch uh, for uh, other uh, features. Again, extrude this time the inner circle. Circle, yes. To the I just uh, drag uh, the I just drag the mm, direction and the uh, inventor of course uh, switch to cutting mode to extrude I will share the sketch so I don't need it anymore all right there is a canal here a radial canal I will uh, let me see are there any dimensions of it no so I will uh, again Oh, first, let's make the chamfer. Let me more, maybe more precise is to measure the, the angle one, 10 degrees or 170. It depends from where you are uh, measuring it. Of course, in Inventor, there is a command called uh, chamfer, and I will use it here. First, I have to uh, select uh, degrees. At the second options, I will select the face from which I will measure the angle, let's say here. And then I will choose the, the edge I will cut. And as you see, there is a um, preview of what we will expect. Uh, the distance is 9 because that was the. Uh, that's the distance there. Nine mil nine millimeter is the whole uh, part. Of course, before uh, clicking OK, you can always check if this is the thing you want to uh, want to create. All right, there is a chamfer is ready. Let's make now the radial canal. All right. So there will be not no uh, bearing on it. There will be some kind of a, a part. Right, this one. Let me check the diameter of this canal. Eighty two in the height of this canal, four. All right. So I'm back to my 3D model. Uh, but let me let me use another dimension, not this one. I will uh, measure the distance between the wall and uh, the vert and uh, uh, this canal, maybe one point one point one point five, let's say. Okay. Uh, I press and hold the left the left uh, button of the mouse and then I can drag the work plane I uh, I insert the 1.5 dimension and then I will create this uh, on, a, on a, a circle with diameter 85 75 okay 
and now I will extrude it with the uh, how much was four millimeters lots of dimension today yes four millimeters all right four millimeters you can create extrusion uh, even if you are in the sketch mode just press A or uh, select the command from the ribbon menu alright I'm cutting so I choose a cut option so of course I have to select the right uh, direction and I press OK, press OK and uh, this part is ready let's make the, uh, the other one uh, it is easier of course uh, I can use the lower one it's easier because uh, it just need uh, two circles to be precise okay the first one is 80 in diameter right here I press uh, again the sketch button create a circle with the 80 millimeters diameter all right and I will uh, uh, dimension put a dimension uh, 100 and uh, how much 54 from the center of the other circle that's uh, very important because uh, in the next uh, lessons we will create uh, the shafts the gears so this uh, the, this uh, dimensions are important so, all right I'll just cut through the whole wall uh, not trying to cut the other one which is also not a problem of course uh, and the other of course something like the same uh, canal 3 millimeters from the outer contour diameter is 87 alright and the height is 5 okay So uh, again, again create a sketch. Uh, no, not in that direction. Minus three millimeters. Happens sometimes. Minus three millimeters, and I will create in it a circle. First, I will project some uh, geometries just to be sure that they are concentric is the same center okay finish the sketch and I will choose extrude right click on the on the graphic screen and select the command from the menu not five meters of course five millimeters and the canal is ready so the one uh, side of our uh, gear reducer is ready and I will of course not create again the same thing in the other uh, on the other side I just uh, use the uh, mirror command the mirror command in the modeling uh, in the modeling uh, ribbon I first uh, from the view tab I uh, uh, hide the working uh, geometries like work planes work uh, axis and points and one by one I'm choosing the extrusions that we made mostly extrusion in one chamfer I selected all I select all of them I'm selecting all of them okay then for a mirror plane I choose the XZ plane which is exactly in the mid of my middle part of my uh, gear reducer and it uh, mirrored perfectly so uh, that was uh, the lesson for today part three uh, I'm hoping the next next week I will, uh, will post uh, no, lesson number four. There will be some fillets and uh, some uh, additional work on this uh, lower part of our gear reducer. If you have questions, uh, you can always write to us.